Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my 32 week pregnancy update and symptoms for you guys. I haven't done one of these since I was 25 weeks pregnant, but honestly, through that stretch of time, not a lot has changed. So I didn't do like weekly or bi weekly updates. So now that I'm seeing different symptoms, I thought I would do an update for you guys. I wrote everything down because pregnancy brain is seriously so real i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get on with this 32 week pregnancy update if you're new here make sure you're subscribed my name is yelena and this is going to be my second baby i'm 32 weeks pregnant i'm due the first week of august so i do a lot of lifestyle motherhood kind of videos on youtube if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button i'm so excited because i have so many fun videos coming up nursery tour i'm currently in the new nursery and my toddler is sleeping next door so if you guys hear his sound machine i apologize but yeah i'm kind of in the process of finishing it up and then i'll do a tour i'll also be doing my hospital bag checklist video and all those fun videos for you guys so make sure you're subscribed so anyway, let's get on with this 32-week um, pregnancy symptoms and update. So according to my What to Expect When You're Expecting app, baby is the size of a cantaloupe, three and a half to four pounds, eight weeks to go, um, and the baby is about 16 to 17 inches long. So I'm just sharing things that I have been experiencing. It doesn't mean that you're gonna have the same symptoms, but you could. So some of the symptoms, there's quite a bit. Um, I think in my 25 week update I did or I mentioned that I had really bad heartburn that has actually like disappeared which I'm so grateful for I don't know if it's because I'm drinking so much water I drink about a gallon a day so I am just so thankful because I was just taking Tums and stuff every day but it was just like so unbearable and it was, it was horrible so I'm really grateful that's pretty much gone now and I can like sleep better at night because of it so heartburn went away but there's a few other things that kind of have come back i'm getting extremely tired again once again i have a toddler so that could contribute to being tired but also being pregnant and having a toddler all day it's draining and the bigger i'm getting and he wants me to hold him more I just i'm a lot more tired and my belly's getting bigger so um restlessness um and leg cramps this is something i've been experiencing lately and it's horrible i've been getting the worst like charlie horses just in the middle of the night like multiple times a night and oh my gosh it's so bad and i just hate them they're so painful i just have to like get up and walk around they're just like i don't know my legs just started going spazzy <laughs> and it's so uncomfortable um i just try to like stretch and rub my legs and like massage them so sometimes it helps sometimes it doesn't but i just try to find like comfortable positions to sleep in so i just have to constantly like move around at night so definitely do that if you are getting like cramps and then another symptom is my tummy has been super itchy it's just mostly like at the top right here and i think it's because my skin is stretching obviously it's getting bigger and the baby's growing so just been um super itchy but i just put like the oil on it and obviously it doesn't really help with like the itching not much but it does help with like just i don't know it feels better with um being hydrated and the stretch marks and all that fun stuff and then my so up until this point i think i haven't had too much of like swollen sore feet because even though I go on a lot of walks a day, my stomach wasn't like that big yet. But that's something I've noticed in the past couple of weeks, especially after 30 weeks, is my feet have been super sore at night. And I'm on my feet all day long with my toddler too. So um, that also contributes to it. But yeah, swollen feet. And I'm sure my ankles are going to be crazy swollen. And I won't even recognize my feet soon, just like I did my first pregnancy. So that's pretty normal. Can't really like, um, can't really do anything about that. So another thing is I've been super clumsy and I just actually recently like fractured my toe and my toddler's um, little sofa that he has in his bed when I was putting him to bed at night. 
and then I hit it again. It's just been a mess. So my foot is like my toe, my pinky toe is super swollen and like in a lot of pain. I've just been really clumsy. I feel like this big belly is making me just be all over the place and I'm just like moving too fast and uh, I'm just, I don't even know. So clumsiness is definitely a symptom. And then I've been experiencing still like shortness of breath, as you can probably tell. Still, it's getting kind of worse because it's getting hotter outside. And as I'm walking, I'm just like, oh, I can't breathe. And I'm just like, I have to slow down and catch my breath. And then another thing, another symptom I've had is having pressure down there if you know what i mean like everywhere down there everything is just feels like swollen and i just feel like a lot of pressure down there um pretty much everywhere um but that could be also because the baby is growing he's pushing on my bladder i have to pee constantly and everything's just like getting bigger and yeah the baby's getting heavier and he's probably moving like lower down um my belly so all the pressure just kind of you know builds up and stuff and then i still have the like leaky breasts because getting ready for the baby and to breastfeed and uh, what else there's another symptom that i wanted to talk about i didn't want to make this video super long i just want to like get to the point with you guys tell you all the symptoms um oh okay this one is kind of tmi but constipation this is like a really common pregnancy symptom and definitely had this and had this and what i do to help this is i started drinking the um the raspberry loose leaf what is a red raspberry loose leaf tea and it also helps you get ready for like labor and all that stuff so that helps with that and also i drink ginger tea at night with some honey or lemon and that helps with like getting, getting you like regulated and everything so that definitely helps <sighs> okay i feel like i'm talking so fast what else was i gonna oh another symptom that i've noticed is i've been a lot more emotional i feel like it's just like started to hit me now that i'm at 32 weeks of pregnancy and i'm just like a lot more emotional because i'm like oh my gosh we're gonna be i'm gonna have two kids and it's just craziness in my house with my toddler i'm just exhausted but i'm so excited and i just like can't wait to have our other baby boy but it is like emotional because i just think about all this stuff because i'm like oh how am i gonna do this i know i'll make it through but yeah definitely more emotional and then i wanted to talk about the cravings that i've been having my only two cravings that i've been having is like i'm obsessed with watermelon that's all i crave crave all day long i'm constantly going to the store and getting more watermelon and i just get the seedless kind so good it's really 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 good for you because it's mostly water so it keeps you hydrated it keeps me full keeps me from not eating all the other bad things that i could be eating and it's just so good and then another craving that i've had pretty much since i think the last time i made an update was sushi and i only get like the cooked sushi nothing raw which is allowed but you always want to check with your ob just to make sure so i always get like this cooked um sushi and i know seafood is good for you like once or a couple times a week but nothing um I, I would skip like the raw stuff obviously and then what else i'm still doing like my normal things that i've been doing pretty much throughout my whole pregnancy like trying to stay healthy and trying to stay active drinking a lot of water i go on uh, one to two walks a day i go about a mile to two miles a day walking it's getting a lot hotter and harder to walk outside right now but i go either like earlier in the morning or later at night so i'm definitely trying to keep going with the routine i'm gonna show you guys i can't remember if i showed you in my last video or not but this belly band i got on amazon i'll link it for you guys down below but this really helps me with walking and kind of relieving all the pressure down in my belly area when i'm walking or you can just wear this during the day if you're like doing stuff around the house or just if you have any pressure like in your belly and it really helps a lot and then another thing i got a bunch of these but they're in the wash right now 
um, these shorts from Ross or you can order these on Amazon they're kind of like the biker shorts but they're the maternity ones are these are literally like my life right now I live in them they're so comfortable they're stretchy they stretch with my belly they fit over my belly pretty well and they're just like literally the best shorts ever and also I'll show you my um, I got these like um bras that are super soft they're kind of like the same stretching material i'll show you once i'm doing like toward the end my bump date for you guys um but yeah i definitely recommend getting these because toward the end when you start getting really uncomfortable you need something like really really comfortable and stretchy and just something you can lounge around in all day long and something you can go outside in exercise in so definitely recommend some of these and i think that's pretty much it for my 32 week pregnancy symptoms and update i don't think i missed anything pretty much got everything on here so i think i missed um one thing on here oh being lightheaded i think that's pretty much been my whole pregnancy but yeah i've been kind of lightheaded if i stand up too fast so i kind of just have to slow down so yeah that's pretty much it for my uh, 32 weeks of pregnancy update for you guys i'm gonna do my bump date and show you my belly bump can't wait for this baby to be here soon i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful if you are pregnant congratulations i hope you're having a good and healthy pregnancy if you guys have any questions comments or anything like that and also you can comment down below what pregnancy symptoms you've been having also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it and make sure um give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you found it helpful hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys all right guys so here's my bump it's getting really big feels like pretty i mean He's getting a little bit lower, I feel like. Feeling all the baby kicks. I haven't noticed any stretch marks or anything, which I'm really grateful for, but my belly button's like pretty close to completely coming out. <laughs> so yeah, that's my 32 week bump. This, this is like the really comfortable bra I was talking about in the video. It doesn't have any um, wires or anything. It's literally the best. It's great for if you're gonna breastfeed because this part just like comes down. But yeah, it's so comfortable. And then these are the um, biker shorts, the maternity ones. And they're so soft and they just feel really comfy. I pretty much live in this outfit all day. I got them in black and then nude. So I got a few of these. I'll link some down below for you guys that you can get. But seriously, so comfortable. So yeah, that's the belly. 32 weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed this pregnancy update and enjoyed this pregnancy symptoms video, bump date, whatever you want to call it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You slip my world on fire. Set my